We also have the sheriff here with us tonight that will speak about the upcoming jail needs as well as the captain from the jail, Miss Lori Pierce. Um, they have some information they wanted to share with you about the current um, needs that are going on and expansion requests in the future. Um, so the need for a new jail is now. Um, we do have a pipe leak issue and I will play a lovely little video so you can see the extent of our issues. Now it's the jail is falling apart. We're spending and, and we understand that. I'm I'm just concerned by the now statements. Oh no, because because I mean you know there's project management involved and design involved and um, and it just concerns me that you know if now's the answer then I don't think we can get there. What I but to the uh, sheriff's office um, point. We'd love to be able to say, let's build it and start now. now. We'd love to say that. Um, it's a matter of funding. And usually jails are not, um, they don't do very well on referendums. What was the total cost of the new Sheriff's Department? 120. 27. 27 million. 20, how much? 27 million, oh, I believe. Okay. okay. So, um, you know, should we have done this before that, or should, are we okay with what we're doing? Or? So I know you have you know, a, a difficult challenge in front of you um, because now's not going to happen. Oh, no, we know that. Okay. We, Thank you very much. That. But if we don't push now, then we're behind. And we can't build it where it's at. That's right. Anybody and we from, don't have land. And we don't have sewer capacity. Anybody from Marvin area here? I'd just like to make a few comments on the Western Union Municipal Alliance, uh, otherwise known as WUMA, the Confederation of Municipal Governments in Western Union County who have banded together to ask the state government to step in and grant them the power to make decisions about public utilities. Let's do a thought experiment. If these municipal governments were replaced by corporate real estate development boards, what difference would we see in their decision making? None that I can see. And I would invite any member of these governments to step up here and give a single example of when they've made a decision that would differ from that of a corporate board. The mayor of my town, Waxhaw, has publicly said, that's what a municipal agency is. They are developers of real estate. There was a comment that was submitted just before the meeting. Slow, steady, thoughtful growth is appreciated. I also want you to know that many Marvin residents were upset with the resolution of the Village of Marvin Council just unanimously passed asking the General Assembly to take over management of wastewater treatment facilities in Union County. Given the fact that this board has only been in office for five months, we should allow you to work your plan. Our state legislators have many other things to focus on that are better uses of their time. Keep up the great work. An unprecedented effort is being launched by mayors of towns in Western Union County that undermines and voids the will of Union County voters. Resolutions have been asked, passed to ask the state to step in and create a board to manage water and sewer moving forward in Union County. These resolutions are asserted by mayors of the very municipalities that have allowed unfettered rezoning and permitting without a thought to the impact on each other or the county at large. The reaction of these mayors and councils of Waxhaw, Marvin, and others are tantamount to a temper tantrum waged on the behalf of developers. The hubris in this resolution to ask the state to direct a new board comprised of municipal members to manage water and sewer forward is laughable and puts the fox in the hen house. I have a message for those mayors, the county and the state. We elected a board of county commissioners and they are empowered to ma manage this county owned utility. Frankly, the voters have made it clear that they trust them to make the decisions moving forward. State assembly members would be wise to measure the temperature of Union County voters on this issue before considering an affirmative response to these resolutions. As for the municipality leadership, municipal elections occur this year in the fall 
and we will be ready for them. Uh, first, we'll handle the resolution. Um, we've had a lot of discussion in the last little bit about uh, concerns over the county's uh, uh, financial dealings and, and other things that are concerns from municipalities. So I'd like to make a motion that we adopt the resolution. And, and, and since I am terrible right now with reading with my vision, if uh, Commissioner Brian Hounds, if you wouldn't mind reading that resolution. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so I'll begin. Resolution calling for investigation of relevant officials. Whereas Union County has successfully built, owned, and operated its water and sewer utility system for over 40 years, and whereas certain municipalities have accused Union County of lack of financial responsibility and prioritization prioritization of taxpayers' best interest, and whereas Union County has responsibly planned for upgrades and maintenance of its utility system, including consideration or adoption of periodic revisions to a capital improvement plan and master plan prepared and approved by Black and Veatch, Inc. and Brown and Caldwell, Inc professional engineering firms, and whereas Union County has responsibly considered or adopted periodic utility service rates and fees in accordance with a rate and fee study prepared and approved by Stantec Consulting Services Incorporated, a professional firm specializing in financial services and management, and whereas credit rating agencies have maintained Union County's water and sewer utility credit rating at a consistently high rating or double A plus by Standard and Poor's and double A Fitch and a general uh, government credit rating of triple A by all three uh, rate, rating agencies based upon current management of the utility and its future plans and whereas Union County residents have expressed a desire for any expansion of water and sewer utility to be performed in a fiscally conservative and responsible manner and Whereas certain municipalities located in Union County, in which Union County provides water and, and sewer service, have been presented with opportunities to partner cooperatively with Union County in water and sewer allocation to their residents, but have repeatedly declined these opportunities to do so. And whereas a prior effort in 2002 to remove the role of the people and their right to self-governance over water and sewer utility service in Union County in favor of unelected appointed officials quickly failed and whereas a new effort to remove the role of the people in their right to self-governance over water and sewer utility service in favor of unelected appointed officials calls into question the interests behind such efforts and whereas the confidence of the people in its government officials is paramount, predicated upon transparency and a freedom from potential conflicts of interest. Now therefore be it resolved by the Union County Board of Commissioners that Union County hereby requests the assistance of state and federal authorities to conduct an investigation into the potential property ownership interests, business interests, and personal conflict conflicts, if any, of current and past relevant officials of Union County and certain municipalities located in Union County related to the acquisition of property for the expansion of or usage of wastewater capacity at Union County's 12 Mile Creek wastewater treatment facility and the future potential wastewater treatment facility be, to be located at 3124 Ridge Road, Indian Trail, North Carolina, otherwise known as Site B adopted this first day of May 2023. Okay, the reason, um, the reason I wanted this resolution is the resolutions that have recently been passed by some municipalities. And I will say thank you to the municipalities who did not sign up for this. We have been and continue to be planning and proceeding forward with items. Uh, it's just like uh, we talked about with the Site B plan. We do not to this date have a discharge permit for that plant. It is zero. We cannot discharge anything there. And we hope to hear something soon, but until now we still don't have any discharge permit. So there's been some serious uh, 
allegations leveled by some of the municipalities who want their sewer right now rather than right. And that's what we intend to do is what's right, not right now. And so we're moving forward. We're moving forward with proper funding. We're moving forward looking for funding sources. We intend on putting a timeline together to give to these municipalities and to the state legislature to show them what our plans are. We have given them tentative um, example doing general obligation bonds and putting it for a vote of all the people of Union County, not three, not 10, or not unelected people in Union County. So with this, we are asking that we, as long as, as, as well as other uh, people associated with county and municipal governments be investigated. I'm calling for an investigation of anything that I might have to do with it, which in, I don't. So we are gonna call in and ask for help uh, with somebody who can access financial records that we can't, and we want the people of Union County to be assured that the people that are making the decisions that are hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, over $1.3 billion worth of projects in public works alone right now. Wouldn't the schools like to have $1.3 billion worth of school money? So we're gonna make sure that, that we, as well as the people that advise us, as well as the people that are working with the, these municipalities, are checked and made sure that we're all making the best decisions for you, not the best decisions for campaign uh, contributions and not the best decisions for people that uh, they may have any kind of interest with. Uh, any, any discussion on the motion? Um, Mr. Chair, I plan on supporting this motion. I have been extremely disheartened um, being a new member to this board and only being 33% into the presentations from Brown and Caldwell on water and sewer for Union County. The last master plan was updated in 2016, yet this resolution that has been passed by Marvin, Weddington, and Waxall would have us follow a 2011 or 2016 master plan when, when we've only received 33% update from our consultant so that we can figure out responsibly what we do need to do. So I'm, I'm disappointed that they could not wait for the other 66% of the information um, and then reaching out to um, our senators or legislators to enact a local bill so that they could you know, take utilities away from Union County was extremely disappointing. And um, I too echo um, how proud I am of the municipalities that did not um, join them so that we can complete uh, this um, information from our consultants. Tonight, I believe we're gonna hear um, about pipes and the status, um, get that status update. And then um, I think on May 15th or 17th, we're gonna get the next phase of this master plan update and start um, talking about capital. Uh, April 17th, we received the first round of information and their recommendations on all of our plants. Um, so to have these resolutions usurp our authority when we are diligently working to listen to the consultants and find out where are we, where do we want to be, where do we need to be, what do we need to do, um, again, just extremely disappointed um, that those municipalities would um, even call a meeting at 8 o'clock this morning um, as opposed to coming here tonight to receive more information um, and then making their decision tomorrow. So I will be supporting this resolution. Any other comments? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, I will be voting against this resolution. This is the first I've seen this resolution. This is the first I've heard of it. Um, unfortunately, this is the modus operandi of this current board majority is to uh, keep things close among the three of them and uh, not share with other board members. Um, unfortunately, I see this also as just kind of the threatening bully tactics that we've seen um, time and time again, just in the short tenure already of this board. 
Uh, this board uh, voted to investigate um, a decent and wonderful former county manager and human being. Uh, and now uh, they're calling for state and federal officials uh, to investigate uh, local public officials who already have most of them, certainly those who are currently serving, already have disclosure obligations. Anybody that sits up here or sits in a municipal town hall and has taken the oath of office, they have disclosure obligations. They have to, uh, they have to disclose what property interests and what uh, investment interests and in some cases personal property that they have. So this is just, you know, uh, this is a whole, but a whole lot of nothing. Um, but it is a, a bully tactic and it's more threatening language from this board that is profoundly unhelpful. You may not like what other municipal leaders are saying, but guess what? They've been elected too, and they have a right um, to enter the public arena and share their thoughts, make their concerns known, and pass whatever resolutions they wish to pass. Um, we can pass resolutions too, but this is just, this is profoundly unhelpful. And um, I'm just, I'm aghast that here we are uh, contemplating and, and I imagine about to pass this uh, monstrosity. I would like to add that the only bullying tactics I've seen were from the three municipalities that passed their resolution. Commissioner Helms, do you have a comment? Yeah, I'll just say this, that, um, you know, I've watched some of these municipal meetings. I've been in attendance in some of these municipal meetings as well. Um, to, to say that um, I've been discouraged from what I've seen is sort of an understatement. Um, I, I will say that I've watched um, our county staff as well as our chairman attend one of those meetings. Um, and I, I watched as these um, municipal folks here um, acted with abandon and um, and if we're talking about bullying tactics, then you should probably go back and see some of those meetings. Um, because I was kind of shocked, honestly, to see, you know, where it was that they stood and, um, and, and how there was a, a complete and total lack of disregard over the effort that this board has made to try to be responsible with taxpayer funds. So, um, I'll be supporting the motion. Um, I believe that um, this is um, something that would be a step in the right direction for resolution and um, and yes it does have my support thank you and I'll say this um, we had a meeting this morning that lasted till maybe 10 o'clock and then another meeting with uh, the town of Marvin till maybe 12 o'clock uh, Commissioner Brian Helms and I uh, we were asked by Senator Todd Johnson to meet with them the mayors or town councilmen whoever could come from the towns uh, we had a long discussion with them about what our plans are and how we're moving forward and our consultants that are coming to us and what they're telling us. And we explained to them what the plan is. We laid out some rough timelines. And we don't have the money, so we have to make choices. Just like the jail that you heard about earlier on tonight, we have to make some choices. And in that discussion, it came up again that, you know, are we being physically responsible and, and questioning the integrity of this board as to what we're doing. So we want to know if uh, the state, um, if the SBI, the FBI, whoever, has trouble with anything that we've done, anything illegal or unethical or something that we shouldn't have done has been charged and discussed by some of these towns. So um, the first time that this was done was, I well remember it, and thank goodness, uh, former Senator Fern Schubert, uh, she keeps good records. And she had the letter where she walked into, uh, at the time, House Member Bobby Harold Barbie's office and a local um, politician who had just been defeated in Union County for his commissioner seat by three commissioners saying they were going to try to manage growth, was up in Raleigh in a House Member's office when Fern Schubert walked in and they were discussing taking away sewer from the county commissioners elected saying that they were going to try to get some handle on growth. And they gave it, they were going to give it over to Governor Easley to appoint a board for Union County, who is a mostly Republican county. The Democrat governor at the time 
was going to appoint those members to that board. Now, at that time, it was able to be defeated thanks to the efforts of Senator Schubert. She had just been elected as senator. Uh, she was coming from the House, and thank goodness she stopped that. Now, 20 years later, we have three commissioners that got elected campaigning in two elections on managing the growth in Union County and making sure that you, the ratepayers, did not have to bear the burden for new homeowners and traffic that's coming and new schools and all the other things. So we increased and we directed the staff that we were willing to increase our system development fee for sewer 53% at a meeting, our last county commissioner meeting. So we're pushing the burden from the homes that are here now to the homes that are gonna be here in the future which that's where it belongs. Just as if you were putting in a septic tank or a well, that's where it belongs. And this is gonna generate some funds to help upsize the 12 Mile Creek. In 2026, we could possibly be looking at a general obligation bond, if we even get a permit, to do Site B. But until we get a permit, we don't even know what to ask for. And we don't have the permits we don't have the environmental studies, and we explained this to the, to the councils this morning, that this needed to be done. A lot of them were surprised. They, they thought we had the discharge permit. They thought we had things that we didn't have. We had one, one town who has 1.5 million gallons available to them today that we have no control over. They can do whatever they want. They can condemn properties, they can do what they want. But they didn't understand that, and they didn't also seem to understand that another town east of them wanted to take away some of that capacity. That's what they were advocating for, is we want some of your pie until we can get a new pie. And that, I think that hit home with that municipality. I, I think I saw some questions going around. Uh, we heard about pump stations. When we build pump stations, this board, all I think unanimously on the last board, we supported the pump station policy, and this board supported that pump station policy unanimously to not build some pump stations, and those pump stations allow for people to get around the people who are waiting with gravity sewer lines. So why do those get approved by the staff? And that's the question we had last year, so we made a new policy, and, and thank goodness, you know, Commissioner Williams was very supportive of that, and I thank you, Commissioner Williams, for supporting that. That's important. But now we're in a case where, on paper, we have capacity eaten up at the 12 Mile Creek, on paper. Meanwhile, we're only using approximately six million gallons a day of a seven and a half million gallon plant. That leaves 5,300 plus homes and businesses that can be built. We're not dead in construction. We're just dead in new properties coming in right now. We're holding up until we get the capacity. On, that, uh, on those news stories back then, uh, you can't read this from where you're at, but it says, state eyes another sewage spill. This is waste time after time spilling out of manholes into the 12 mile creek and in that basin. And myself, I went to D, uh, WQ, I think that's what they called it back then, that's DEQ, and asked them, what's going on? They said, you've over permitted your plant. We can't get the numbers from that staff 20 years ago. And now, thank goodness, our staff has been very good about getting those numbers and handling that, and we have a handle on it. So where well, they had 11 million gallons permitted and pending on a 2.5 million gallon plant. And all the people came to the bank and asked for their money and they couldn't get it. So we get sewage spilling out of the manholes into the creeks. I called DWQ last week. They said, don't plan to fail. Don't plan to fail. And that's what we're doing is we're not planning to fail. We're planning within what resources that we have, just like the jail, just like the schools, we plan with the resources that we have, and this is where it all starts, is sewer and water capacity issues. Sewer allows for high density growth. Sewer allows for land that's undevelopable to become developable. Pump stations allow for land that is undevelopable to become developable. So we have a pump station policy now, thanks to the pass board, thanks to this board, and one of the, one of the two, two of the two, complaints that we got were from towns that want pump stations. They just don't make sense. And both boards, the last board and this board, have told those municipalities, 
we're not willing to approve those pump stations until we get a hold on what's going on. We don't want to put people in line. We don't want to let them break line. That's the best way of putting it. And one of the municipalities has a gravity solution that we believe, and we've told them that. They just don't want to do it because they're going to have to condemn properties to get there. And we've, we've explained to them, thank goodness the towns, again, listened this morning, and we had an excellent meeting. But there was still some questions in there of the sincerity and honesty of this board and, and other boards. And we have questions, too, and we just want those questions answered. And you as citizens should want those questions answered. So this, this resolution came from a meeting that ended at basically 12 o'clock today, 10 o'clock for some people, including Todd Johnson, Mark Brody, um, the county, uh, me and uh, Commissioner Brian Helms uh, at Todd Johnson's request. The, the staff was there, the county manager, the county attorney, and, and Lynn West was there uh, to uh, take the minutes. This is not being hidden. This is just, we've got to, we have to answer to these allegations put forth by these towns. So I'm going to be supporting the motion too. And if there's any other comments, uh, any other questions? Okay. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Okay. Motion passed.